Hey, what is up all my chill gamers and PC enthusiasts alike? Today we're going to be diving deep into the GPU showdown with AMD Radeon RX 9070 and 9070 XT versus Nvidia's RTX 5070 Ti. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck in 2025, AMD's latest 9070 XT might just be the best choice for you. Let's break it down. Now let's get into the performance and raw power. The Radeon RX 9070 XT comes packed with AMD's latest RDNA 4 architecture, boasting higher core counts, improve efficiency, and boosted clock speed compared to that to the standard RX 9070. It outperforms the RX 9070 Ti in rasterization, delivering higher frame rates than most modern AAA titles, especially at 1440p and 4k okay guys let's get into the benchmark breakdown the 9070 xt consistently beats the 5070 ti in games like cyberpunk 2077 starfield and call of duty we're talking 10 to 15 percent higher average fps at ultra settings while the 5070 ti holds up well in ray tracing amd's improved fsr3 and 4 technology have leveled the playing field delivering comparable visuals without heavy performance hits what are the vram advantages well, let's get into it. Another big win for AMD VRAM RX 9070 XT features 16 gigabits of GDDR7 memory compared to the RTX 5070's Ti's 12 gigabit of GDDR6X. As gamers continue to demand more VRAM, the extra 4 gigabits of the 9070 XT ensures better future proofing, especially at higher resolutions. We've already seen a recent title struggle on GPUs with lower VRAM, so having the extra buffer is a huge advantage. Power efficiency and thermals testing. So let's get into this. Now let's talk efficiency. With the new RDNA 4 optimizations, AMD has managed to keep power consumption in check while delivering a more efficient GPU. The 9070 XT runs cooler and quieter than that of the 5070 Ti. Thanks to AMD's advanced cooling design, lower temps means better sustained performance and less fan noise. It's always a plus. Price to performance. Well, I can just say this. We can't argue ignoring that of pricing. AMD's has priced the 9070 XT very competitively, making it a better value option over the 5070 Ti. You're getting more raw power, better VRAM, and improved efficiency for a lower similar price, making it the obvious choice for gamers who want the most performance per dollar. So with all that said, guys, should you go with the AMD's 9070 XT or Nvidia's 5070 Ti? If you're looking for the most best overall performance, future proofing of gaming and value, AMD's 9070 XT is the clear winner. More VRAM, better efficiency, and higher price to performance ratio, making it the go to card for 2025 gaming builds. Now, I just got to add this real quick. Having an RTX 3070 for like four years now, it still holds up to today. You know, playing Monster Hunter Wilds, I can play that fine, 60 frames and above a little bit dabbling some setting lower settings of course because if i put it on ultra i'm only gonna get 30 frames on a pc man i don't know what happened optimization needs to be there a little bit better but i love the game I'm definitely gonna keep playing it on pc i don't care so i dabble in some settings i got 1440p medium or high depending on situation probably high i think i have it and with uh performance mode with the oss so yeah i'm getting my little money there but again my build's four years old okay uh, I can't wait. So this 9070 XT series, I'm going to say, without a shadow of a doubt, it's a much better price point than the 5070 Ti. It's definitely consumer friendly. For somebody who's looking to upgrade or just get into PC gaming, I think this card is a beautiful price point. At a beautiful price point, you know? Think about it. If you were just getting a PC, even a pre-built, you know, people don't, want, don't know how to build PCs and all that stuff. And you're looking at a, a card that costs only 600 bucks. You know, and a decent CPU and the motherboard that's not going to bottleneck your RAM and all the megahertz and all the speed and performance you want to do. You don't even care about that. Having this kind of card as a starting point and the capabilities and technology built into it matches the a 50 series. I'm going to say this. Um, I'm really happy. I, I'll tell you this. I'm actually thinking about upgrading to this card. I know it beats the heck out of my 3070 without a shadow of a doubt. Even though my build is four years old, I will say it's definitely holding up. I can still play a lot of games, modern games, but the frame rate change there, even with DLSS, is not really helping my card or my build per se. It may help you. You might have a better motherboard CPU and all that good stuff, which I would want to upgrade, but I'm trying to upgrade next year for a 5090. The card, that, not, that card is $2,500 alone. That's a big, big investment. And my PCI will kind of dabble in some settings or, oh, excuse me, not settings dabbling some pc parts and i i came to find out the build i want is actually like fifty five hundred dollars yeah that's like a cost of a used car or a good down payment for an expensive car 
So yeah, that's that's a big investment. But I will say the 9070 is a little bit less performance than that of the 9070 XT. So if you don't really care about 50 extra dollars, and what is the price point of that? The 50 extra dollars gives you a much better performance. That's wild. They should have marked that as 499 or 350. I don't know. Well, nah, I would say 499, maybe 450. You know, hundred dollars, hundred, hundred and fifty dollars less. I would definitely probably point that out. But um, AMD has a, a habit of doing this for some reason. Uh, I looked it up. I'm not really an AMD guy, so I looked it up. I was like, yeah. So a lot of people are saying that AMD usually does this. They price a little bit higher. They want to get the better performance card out the door, and then later on, though, what they should have done right now is market a hundred dollars less. And I guarantee you, a lot of people would have bought that 9070 regardless. If you are at a 3060 or 3070. A 3080 probably still probably better than 3080. I didn't look at the numbers or any kind of benchmarks, but I will say this. I'm really happy for it. So what do you guys think? Are you team AMD or NVIDIA's? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more in-depth tech reviews. Until next time, guys, stay chill and happy gaming. See you in the next one. Peace.